Hey cruise fans and welcome back to Ray and Sue's Travel Channel. It's our pleasure to be able to bring you part two of the Harmony of the Seas ship tour. In part two, we share with you more of the boardwalk, the upper decks, including the pool areas, and some of the private suite guest areas on the upper deck. Enjoy. So this is the boardwalk on the lovely harmony of the seas and uh, it's getting light now, it's uh, just after 7 o'clock and uh, a beautiful place right in the middle of the ship uh, with a number of uh, restaurants and cafes, uh, a super place, a lovely environmentally preserved with lots of plants, real plants and grasses and trees. And of course, uh, it's early in the morning right now, it's about 7 a.m. So it's quite quiet out here, there's not many people around. And I just thought I'd share with you a lovely shot of the park and the variety of shops that are down here. On this side of the park, there's Bulgari and Cartier and lots of places to get some nice items, trinkets from, if uh, you're so inclined. And we have uh, Jamie's Italian, which is uh, part of the Jamie Oliver group. And uh, this is an Italian restaurant serving typically Italian style spaghetti and, uh, and burgers, etc. family style which is uh, really nice and Central Park is a really really lovely open area it's obviously got boardwalk rooms both sides but uh, a lovely layout nevertheless and again as we look back down Central Park we can see how it's split between two portions of the ship aft and, uh, and uh, to the rear and um, on uh, the left hand side you can see another little restaurant it's Central Park Cafe for those early risers those individuals that probably just like your host here gets up early and wants to uh, go and explore the ship and we can also see here the Rising Tides Bar the Rising Tides Bar. This is the bar that varies between decks five and decks eight. And if you spend some time in the bar, it will raise and lower between those decks uh, to give you an even better perspective in terms of how the ship is structured. And and you can get a very nice drink in here as well, by the way, which is all very good for a bar, isn't it? So here we are in the second restaurant here on the boardwalk is Park Cafe, where you can get an early morning cup of tea or a snack or some breakfast. And the guys and girls here will look after you and uh, take care of your needs. How are you today? I'm not sure this early morning filming is right for me, you know. <laughs> eh? yeah. How are you doing? Are you alright? You expecting to be busy this morning? Yeah, but it's a sea day, no? Everybody sleeps in, yeah? Yeah. This yeah. is what I'm no, banking on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's going to be a wake up order, late. Like room service, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. So what do we got in here? What are we doing here this morning? <laughs> Yeah, we we'll check it out and it's traditional breakfast, is it really? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'll put my mask on and I'll just take a little bit of a film, yeah. <laughs> I'll put a... Yeah, you can take uh, our 
And the boys are so ready to serve somebody, aren't they? <laughs> yeah. um, it's, it's not going to be me, though. Good morning. Good morning, chaps. How are you? How are you? Yeah, it's not too bad, thank you. A bit early, though, isn't it? A bit early. Perfect. You're going to be on YouTube now. On my, uh, on my YouTube channel. You've got to look out for yourself now. Ray and Sue's travel channel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it looks nice. Looks very good. I'm sorry? Oh, yes, must do that. I'll come down, I'll give you some cards, yeah? Yeah. But you'll find it, it's easy. There's lots of videos on there, so. Yeah. And here we have uh, Chop Grill. And we're also still out on the boardwalk. But uh, unfortunately, these uh, restaurants are, are locked, so we can't go in and show you what's inside. Uh, perhaps we'll get an opportunity a little bit later on. And again, as we go through, uh, again, a little bit of wind on this end of the central park, but again, it's, hopefully it won't detract from where we're going next. And our next uh, visit is uh, 150 Central Park. This is, again, another one of the paid for restaurants and uh, a beautiful setting in Central Park and we're going to pop in there now and we're going to have a little look inside the restaurant itself and while we're here I'll give you an idea of the sorts of appetizers and entrees and cheeses and desserts that are available in 150 Central Park. Okay so here we are in 150 Central Park. Now this is a paid for restaurant. It's about $45, $50 if you want to come here per person. And uh, let's hope we don't get a copyright strike. But uh, as you can see, a really exquisitely laid out, uh, lovely decorated restaurant in browns and reds. And as you can see here, a fantastic menu, no doubt exquisite service and fantastic food and it's 150 Central Park and it also of course comes with a variety of various wines that will come with your lunch or dinner should you wish it and uh, a truly spectacular little place uh, very chic very well decorated and a lovely place for that special Special dinner. So there you go, that's 150 Central Park. Okay, so as we go through now, we go further down through this area, we can uh, see the wonderful way in which it's been looked after. Now there's a little bit of wind here now, so I hope that doesn't detract from the video at all. Hope that isn't too uh, interfering. And as we go through the area here, Central Park, you can see the fantastic way in which they've got it sorted out. It's a lovely setting, some great places to rest and relax and just take in the magnificence, which is this whole park, which has been structurally built into the design of the ship 
making it a truly wonderful, lovely place to come. So we can see over the uh, entire ship now. So as you can see, the sort of magnitude of the size of Harmony of the Sea, she's a very wide, well over 200,000 tonne ship. And of course you can see the boardwalk here in the middle. A little bit dark at the moment. It's a bit cloudy this morning, but you can see the boardwalk and the, log, the flumes in the far distance. And of course, on both sides, you can also see the swimming pools and jacuzzi arrangements for Royal Caribbean's guests. On both sides, some fantastic facilities uh, and things that you would want to have on a ship of this size. And if we go around to the rear, here we are again. Again, we're on the bridge, so uh, uh, again, another swimming pool, um, typically for the little ones, and some uh, whirlpool baths. And then on the other side of the boardwalk, of course, is the kiddies' play area. So how lovely is that? So here we are on the uh, on the port side of the ship, and uh, again, we just shared the swimming pools with you. And here we have the master bar. Uh, popular little area. It's early in the morning at the moment. It's just before nine o'clock. Of course, it's not open, but a little bit later on, uh, this will all be opened up, and uh, of course, people will be utilising the bar to service their needs for drinks and refreshments. And uh, let's take a little walk now on the other side of the ship. And again, you know, in, in emphasizes the width and the magnitude of the ship. It's absolutely fantastic. So, again, a somewhat uh, industrial look to the front of the port here on the right-hand side. But as we pan around, we can see the wonderful uh, mountains in the distance. And as we pan around past the marina, we can see a really fantastic outlook uh, actually the type of port that i would imagine that you would want to see when arriving uh, at the port at your stop on your cruise so um, my comments earlier about the industrial nature of the port yes are still relevant but of course there are nice parts of the port for you to see as well so stay tuned we hope that you are enjoying this video so far and if you are please consider liking and subscribing to the channel uh, this is rain sue's cruise travel channel and it doesn't cost a penny it doesn't cost you a bean to subscribe to our channel uh, we have well over 500 subscribers now the channel is growing. Uh, we hope you like the content that you see on here. And uh, if you like and subscribe and leave us any comments that you'd like to, then we'll be happy to respond to them. And it would be wonderful to welcome you to the community that is Ray and Sue's cruise travel channel. So like and subscribe. It doesn't cost you a bean. And we thank you for it in advance. Okay, so we can continue our tour around the upper decks and here we are on the front of the ship uh, the aft and this is a uh, quite a lovely little place this is uh, this is uh, a really really well decorated really well constructed area um, and uh, there's uh, a restaurant up here this is the solarium. And so you'll see it's a lot different to solariums that you may have seen on other videos in this series. This is a lovely space. Uh, hopefully we won't get any copyright strikes as a result of some of the background music. But I'd just like to share with you the solarium itself. There's a little restaurant in there 
you might not see it, it's a bit dark uh, at the moment. We'll try and get you some more shots of that. But as you can see down here, a uh, lovely little space. It's a little bit open, but it's protected from the wind. And it's a beautiful little space to get into. Uh, and if you just want a bit of peace and quiet, if you'd like just to chillax without uh, the children running around, then this is the place to come. So that's the solarium on Harmony of the Seas. And we'll just go round and we'll share the other side and we'll go down on the next floor to share you the details down there. And as you can see, uh, a fantastic design and a beautiful piece of uh, ship architecture that brings you down three floors. And yours truly is just going down the stairs now, so just bear with me. But again, a lovely space. And this again is still the solarium, individual chairs, individual little cabanas and on the right hand side here we have the solarium bar and this is open for breakfast and for lunch and for dinner so you can pop in here and you can grab yourself something to eat without actually ever having to leave the solarium so how good is that And again, some lovely seating areas. And if you want to get under cover, shade enough of the sun, then you can come sit here. Uh, and there's, uh, of course, the jacuzzis and uh, shower facilities available to you. And uh, washing stations. And as we, as we go around, you can see the wonderful design. So let's go still further and we'll go down onto the lower level. And let's just see these cabanas. So if you want some real privacy, you can get yourself in one of these. And uh, yeah, and you'll have some privacy as well as being in the solarium. And we'll go down one still further to the front level. And then again, just some standard chairs available, of course, the wonderful whirlpools that are here and you can see the facilities we've got so that is the entirety of the solarium we hope you've enjoyed that part and, uh, and uh, one of the other things I really like about Harmony of the Seas is that not only do the captain and his team get the opportunity to look outside when they are uh, bringing the ship into dock but also the guests get the opportunity to do the same thing as well so here is a lovely little outcrop that's just been built into the design of the ship and i hope you can uh, get an idea of what i mean here we are it's an outside piece of the deck it goes uh, obviously outward in the very same way as the extensions to the bridge would do on the bridge on some of the smaller ships but a really fantastic opportunity for guests to see what's going on when the ships are being brought to uh, a halt and uh, for those with a 
uh, height disposition, I will, uh, I will warn you now that if I turn this camera down, there is also a glass floor and there you can see how the captain would position the ship uh, and how you can see the ship itself. How about that? How lovely is that? So, you don't get that on many ships. So, we hope you enjoyed that. And of course, it also means that you can get some really great shots of the side of the ship. And so as we're at sea, you can be out here, I'm sure it'll be a wee bit windy, but of course, there's the side, the entire side of the ship with lifeboats, etc., with the cantilever uh, uh, whirlpool baths out over the side. So, how lovely is that? And of course, we're in La Specia today, which is the port for Livorno and for Pisa. And we'll be going out later on. So, uh, we look forward to sharing that with you. Stay tuned. And as we move further around, we can see pretty much the, the, the same four private cabana areas. So if you're a sweet guest, if you're one of the higher tier members of the, of, uh, the Crown and Anchor Society, then you can look forward to this type of, of facility where I'm sure the team and the staff will be here readily available to be able to look after your every need. And so the last part of the guest suite area are, is a lovely bedded area, again with private lounges, a fantastic outlook over the sea, uh, and also some uh, double uh, uh, bed type arrangements um, where you can get your uh, uh, suntan in comfort. And all in all, a very lovely uh, piece of the cruise ship. And no doubt the appropriate facilities that go with that and the privacy that one would want as a sweet guest. So, there you are. We thank Royal Caribbean for giving us temporary access to share this with you, so thank you in advance, RCI. Much appreciated. And lastly, we can share with you the boardwalk area from above. That's on deck eight, remember, we're on deck 17, and you can see a really fantastic way in which the design of this ship has allowed for a its size and magnitude, but also uh, allowed for such a wonderful area which is the boardwalk and the internal uh, balcony staterooms. So, we hope you've enjoyed that, and if you have, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel. It's through your subscription, which is entirely free, we can bring you this sort of footage and these sorts of pictures to enable you to make your choices for your cruise destinations. So, enjoy and consider liking and subscribing. And if you like this video, why not check out our channel, Ray and Sue's Travel Channel, where you'll find a raft of other cruise videos covering the Far East, the Middle East, the Mediterranean, and the Caribbean and Mexico. So please leave us any comments that you'd like, and consider liking and subscribing to our channel. It's through your subscription that this channel can grow. So that brings us to the end of this part two of the wonderful Harmony of the Seas ship tour. In part three, we share more of the boardwalk and the rear of the ship, and also the restaurant areas. Thanks for listening, thanks for watching, and we'll see you again in part three.